to make a difference. You know what I mean? Uh, there's a lot of weird stuff going on in the city right now. You know what I mean? So right now, a lot of all the real OGs from different hoods, we trying to come together. You know what I'm saying? We trying to, you know what I mean? Stop this bull crap that's going on because uh, a lot of a lot of y'all young niggas don't know, man. It's really a war going on, man. You feel me? And the racist people, they sitting behind closed doors, gambling with your life. You feel me? You bet that purge, that the uh, 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 the sex slave and all this shit is going on, nigga. You playing with your life, man. You know who's making the money? The penitentiary and the graveyard. The penitentiary and the graveyard, nigga. You feel me? So we gotta wake up, man. We gotta stick together, man. We gotta stop all this madness, man. You know what I'm saying? Send us home. We gotta, man, we gotta do better, homie. You know what I'm saying? But, you know. So. My fan, man, he's really touched by this, man. He's moved by this, man. Like he's driven by the need to stop violence, man. Uh, I worked with Stand Up SA, and this this man was an active part of everything that was going on in the community. Yeah, man. Y'all say the hood, no, 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 no problem, man. You know what I'm saying? Big movie, that's right. You know what I'm saying? Every year, you know, provides uh, you know food for the homeless and and uh, gifts and stuff for you know women that have children that are in need. So you do so much for the community, man. Your heart is really into the streets, man. Your heart is into the community, man. Yeah. How, how did you transition from where you had came to this point? What was it? What was it that really stopped you from being? I'm not gonna say that you stopped being savage, but you kind of changed a little bit towards, you know, loving your brother well, instead of destroying. Well, what, 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 what was that process? Oh man, it was it, it, it wasn't easy because I'm still dealing with demons. But you know, uh, I got kids. You know what I'm saying? And so I, I, I told myself, man, you know, I, you know, you know, my my, uh, my daughter's mother. You know what I'm saying? My, my former wife, she had passed away. I, I really had to step it up. Cause I'm like, man, if I if I if I don't do what I'm supposed to do as a man, then my kids gonna fail, huh? So really, that's what it was that, that really caused me to transition, like made it, made it come more faster, you know what I'm saying? Like move faster, like man, look, I, I'm, a, I'm a grandfather now, you know what I'm saying? Like nigga, you know what I mean? I got, you know what I'm saying, step kids, you know what I'm saying? I'm kids, they looking up to me, you know what I'm saying? You know, I got a lot looking up to me, man. So I had to make that change, man, you know, I, I still too, bro, because, you know, you know time I was going through what I was going through, you know what I'm saying? You know, bro, looked out for me, you know what I'm saying? We family, you know what I'm saying? It's my god brother right here, you know what I'm saying? So. But I salute this brother right here, man. You know, he did a lot for the community. You know what I'm saying? With stand up SA, you know what I'm saying? Was on the front line while other, while other niggas was hiding behind their they, they phones and shit. You know what I'm saying? On Facebook and complaining about shit. But this nigga was out there making it happen. So I salute you as well, bro. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate saying? it, man. Yeah. This particular uh, session, man, was a pleasure to me. Dealing with all the OGs, man, have been. I've been listening to y'all's music growing up in Hawaii. Yeah, yeah. And to see y'all all come together, man, and have the same light mind, the same message, man. Right. And, and from different hoods, it's beautiful, man. And, and it makes me feel stronger. Man. Yeah. It's like we really need that that unity. That's you know that's that's all Phoenix on needs, man. If 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 look, nigga can rap all they want. Hmm. I was telling my, my stepson. And you know what I'm saying, and, and a, a little homie earlier today, you know what I'm saying, you know, so my daughter's son, I was telling her some, you know what I'm saying, some stuff about, like, look. They were saying the same thing. He was like, man, we were talking about the city. It was like, man, the problem in San Antonio is there's no unity. No unity. Nigga, that, nigga, for one, ain't that many goddamn blacks in San Antonio. It's like, what, 6.5? And we, and we failing. You feel what I'm saying? We failing, my nigga, you know what I'm saying? So. I gotta say something about that. White folks make up the demographics. Oh yeah. So yeah. don't believe there's only six percent of black people in San Antonio. There's two million people in the city. I doubt it's only six well, percent black well, people. Well, so what they do is, it's a trick. As we know, everything okay. that they do is a reverse. So they want to let you know that you don't have strength in numbers. So you only have six percent. But, 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 but the fact of the matter yeah. is, we actually have huge numbers of black right, people. Right. But because we're not unified, that it makes it we look, don't even know who we that's are. That's what I'm saying, and, and, it, and it's thrown off because, like, uh, we were saying, er, saying earlier, you know what I'm saying, we got the biggest march in the nation. But the thing, like you said, like, right now, it's only 6.5% blacks because we're not coming together. Hmm. It might be more niggas out there, you know what I'm saying, but since we ain't coming together, 
we, we turn into the one percent <laughs> because we ain't in you we ain't unified you know what i'm saying we gotta be as one you know what i mean like like because nigga, it's, it's too much going on man look it's a war going on they, they're killing us with the food they kill us with the, with the shit they put in the air. All these allergies. Nigga, I, I got so many goddamn allergy problems now. I ain't never had this shit, nigga. In the 90s, not like this. No. I got to walk around with a towel and then a blow my nose and coughing and shit. Nigga, nigga, they, they, nigga there's something going on. Yeah. So we have to wake up, man. We got to stick together as one, man. We got to support each other, man. We got to support each other movement, man. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, we can march all we want. But nigga, we ain't, if nigga, I had marching on me and shit, then nigga, we ain't coming together, nigga. You know what I'm saying? We got to be consistent with what we said we're going to do, and we got to do it. Let's, let's talk about Next Saturday, yeah, 21st. Yes, sir. You know, I brought it up with all, you know, with Santee, I brought it up with Sin, I brought yeah. it up with, with, with Roddy. So, talk about that event, man. Well, right. that event, man, uh, I had uh, uh, my boy, Little Papa Benny Price, man, from the Weedy Court. You know what I'm saying? I'm from Parking Block. Uh, they got my nigga Anthony at the post, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Tuck, you know what I'm saying? You know, we decided, you know what I mean? Like, Little Papa brought to my attention, you know what I mean? You know, uh, he was like, man, time for a change man we gotta do something you know what i'm saying so they wanted to put a, together a march and so they they when they found a meeting we're gonna have a meeting get there, all the ogs at the round table even some young niggas you know what i'm saying let's come to the round table you know what i'm saying let's try to you know what i'm saying find a way to to fix this this problem you know what i'm saying now we ain't gonna be able to reach every nigga but we trying to reach the ones the little babies that's, that's, that's getting left on the streets because their parents locked up all they dead so we got to reach them first you know what i'm saying we got to get to them because we get to them and help them out then if we could you'll see less less crime probably but if we reach one man you reach, you reach the whole nation you know what i'm saying so if we just reach one person one person man we did our job that's how i look at it because that one man carried many seeds within his, 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 his body you know what i'm saying he's a king you know what i'm saying so he's a small god so he got many nations within him so he can lace it up to his family his family spread it like hey man you, man you come from the gutter but then, then you're a doctor you're a successful rapper, you're a successful lawyer, you know what I'm saying? You're a, a, a successful policeman, FBI, whatever you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Just, there's more than life to pop the pills, homie. You know what I'm saying? There's more than life to try to follow these phony ass rappers. You know what I'm saying? These niggas, these niggas is phony as fuck. You know what I'm saying? They live, they, they live, they live in fantasies. You know what I'm saying? That Facebook, the Instagram, these niggas got all these thousand likes, a million likes, and think they the done of the city. Mm -hmm. In reality, nigga, you do a show, nigga, you only got one person at your show. Mm -hmm. So niggas really don't give a fuck about you, homie. So you gotta be real with yourself. You gotta be real with yourself, man. You know what I'm saying? So like I said, I, I salute, you know what I'm saying? This brother right here, I salute this brother right here. This man right here, man, Santee, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I was a young nigga when I met Santee. This nigga took me on his wing with the music shit. You know what I'm saying? He was like, nigga, hey, I got you. I, first thing I seen that drop was a gospel CD. I told myself, I said, man, I gotta give thanks to the Lord because he brought me out of the situation. Nigga, I was raised in a crack house, homie. My grandma was selling, selling dope, supplying the whole block, nigga. This real shit. You feel what I'm saying? And these niggas glorify that shit, niggas. Like, I, I, I salute these brothers because these brothers, when I was going through hard times, nigga, I call them up and say, man, I'm, I'm lost in this situation. Where I should go? You feel what I'm saying? So I, I salute Santi, I salute Crucial. You know what I'm saying? Because they they, they use the, the guard that's in them. You know what I'm saying? To help me. So I'm gonna do the same to help the next motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, we gotta do it. We gotta come together. You know what I'm saying? Like, this. You know what I'm saying? These, these, we family right here, man. So I salute this nigga. Like, when I first, first did the music. Like I said, it was a gospel CD I dropped. It was three songs with an EP. You know what I'm saying? And I said, man, I gotta put this out, man, because God brought, he brought me a lot of, out of a lot of uh, situations. I almost died in a car wreck, you know what I'm saying? I got stabbed up, got shot at, you know what I'm saying? I've been through some shit, you know what I'm saying? Divorces, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shit that you should've making, been making a, a regular nigga blow his head off. You know what I'm saying? But me, you know what I'm saying? I stood tall, and I'm still standing tall. Like I said earlier, you gotta think about your kids, man. You know what I mean? Because who the fuck gonna raise the kids? You know what I'm saying? Who gonna raise your grandkids? You know what I'm saying? So it's our responsibility as kings and even our females as, as, as kings, queens, whatever. You know what I'm saying? We gotta hold, our, hold ourselves responsible, man. So that's why the thing for, for uh, not to get so caught up in it, but the thing for Saturday, we call it Gay. Oh, yeah. But, uh, yeah. Real quick, on the 21st. Going down. Going down, yeah. Bread, be real every day and deliver. Mr. Yeah, Will. 41st, man, from 4 to 6, man, we're doing a, uh, uh, a community thing. Shout out to uh, Lil Papa, Benny Price. Shout out to my nigga, uh, Dude Dirty, Anthony Acosta, Peace Terry. Shout out to uh, Bitwig. 
you know what I'm saying? Shout out to uh, the nigga Tut, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody, man, you know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out to uh, Bread Magazine, man, because that's, you know what I'm saying? My nigga loves cash, you know what I'm saying? Be real every day and deliver, homie, you know what I'm saying? Loyalty is a must, you feel me? So we got to come together, man. Shout out my nigga Crucial, my nigga behind that camera, man. I salute you, bro, you know what I'm saying? Your money, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir, yes, sir. So proud to have you, man. Hey, that's a wrap, baby. Yeah, yeah. Man, it's a salute.